The general theme of this annual commemoration is the impact of the Holocaust on the development of international law. This year, uh, we spoke specifically about the age of rights. The guest speaker is someone who has spent many years uh, advising governments uh, in writing uh, constitutions and dealt with rights. Every single human on earth, by virtue of their humanity, is entitled to human dignity and is entitled to rights on the international plane. I'm Tom Ginsberg. I'm a professor of international law at the University of Chicago Law School, and uh, I work on national constitutions all over the world, international law, human rights, many other topics. My talk will have three short parts, and my theme is the relationship between what we might call cosmopolitanism and particularism. Cosmopolitanism, the idea that we should care about the rights and interests of faraway people that we have never met, and particularism. And this is the history of the world in which we have groups, we have identities. And so there's a tension in philosophy and law about between cosmopolitanism and particularism. And that will be a theme I pursue in each of the three parts. I must say, when the two children lit the candles, it really uh, caught me. Uh, the music was uh, fantastic. Yeah, and the, the words have to sink in. The story of Judge Bergenthal is remarkable. He spent the first 11 years of his life under the Nazi regime. He was one of the few children who survived the death march from Auschwitz. Having served as a judge for many years, including here in the International Court of Justice, Bergenthal was a champion of human rights. As he wrote in his memoir, A Lucky Child, my Holocaust experience has had a very substantial impact on the human being I have become. This is evident in his life's work as an international law professor, human rights lawyer, lawyer and international judge. Judge Bergenthal passed away in 2023. It was that anniversary visit to the anniversary of the death march in midwinter in 2000. And then we came back to the hotel in Krakow, and we were at dinner that evening, and Tom was called to the telephone. And I get a telephone call. I'm asked to go to receive the call, and it's the legal advisor of the State Department saying, I want you to know that we are nominating you to the International Court of Justice, but you can't tell anybody until Monday. And so I said, what about my wife? <laughs> Oh yes, you can tell her. He was extremely happy. He had never dreamt that this would happen to him. Uh, my name is uh, Natalie Toysuta. I'm the producer and director of The Tribute of Thomas Bruckenthal. I met him in 2017. Seven years long, I sent him an email um, because I want to film his story. I, want, I would like to interview him and I never got a response. And then in 2017, he finally said, yeah, you can come over. And finally, I, when I was there, we had, we had eight days. Yeah, I think it's a story who gives hope, who inspires us, and uh, also a tribute to Thomas, because he was, a, he was remarkable. My Holocaust experience has had a very substantial impact on the human being I have become. In any event, it equipped me to be a better human rights lawyer, if only because I understood, not only intellectually, but also emotionally, what it is like to be a victim of human rights violations. I could, after all, feel it in my bones. Why is it so important to keep commemorating? Well, the slogan goes, of course, never again. If we don't 
commemorate, then we forget. And events of the world since 1945 have shown that genocide is still uh, a very live issue. We have from time to time these kind of mass killings. Human rights abuses continue. How can we possibly avoid them uh, unless we motivate ourselves by remembering the six million and all the other horrors of World War II? Honored judges, distinguished ambassadors, learned professors, and dear listeners, when we contemplate the impact of the Holocaust on the development of international law, we must realize that to prevent horrific crimes from happening, young people must learn and must be educated to live a life of purpose with a consciousness of duty and responsibility. <laughs>